All right, so in this video, we're going to explore the Divi Theme Builder. This is a very powerful feature in Divi, and this is the area that we need to really focus on and zone in as we're designing our website. A lot of designers don't like using this, or they don't really know about it, but this is where the power of Divi comes in, because we can go in and highly customize a lot of things in the Theme Builder. Now, let's dive in and let me show you how this works. So to access the Theme Builder, you want to come over here, all the way down here to Divi, and then click on Theme Builder. So over here, you will see all these areas. So here I was creating a global footer. But before we go into that, I want to show you really the, the main areas and what we need to focus on. So first of all, let's say you have your templates that you've designed and you want to delete them. All you have to do is to come over here to this trash can and delete. Okay. Uh, let's say you want to uh, save and share your theme builder designs. You can actually come over here to these two arrows, click on that and export them. So you can say uh, Mac template design. Okay, and then export all templates. Now, if you wanna share this with others, uh, they just have to download that file, come back over here, and this time they have to click on import, and then they can import, choose to override or choose to import uh, or existing uh, assignments, and then click on import, and this will import that template onto uh, their website. Now, it may look like this feature is not very necessary. I mean, I actually sell my own template, so you can really design a template here and actually sell it. So mine is called Blogger Pro. So for those uh, that want to uh, get started with blogging, they, uh, they can actually download it. It's $48 and install it and your website will have a 404 page, it will have a header, it will have a footer, it will have your, all, all your blog posts designed for you. So pretty much everything that you need is ready for you. All you have to do is to go in and make some updates to your content and pretty much that's it. Add your images, add your text and you're good to go. So this feature here to export and import is very, very, very important. It's very, very easy to use as well. Let's move on and let's talk about other areas of our builder. Now, let's say you want to export a specific design. So this is our 404 four page design let me just delete that save so this is our 404 page so if i come over here this is a basic page if i refresh this is what it looks like so if there's a page that does not exist on your website uh, it will show this error here and then click here to go home and pretty much that's it okay so let's say i want to share this with someone else i can just come over here individually to this 404 and export it like that and this will export the template right but if you want to import it you can just come over here and import it as an individual file and it will pretty much find its place on your theme builder area here that's great now you may have noticed that i clicked here on this eye icon and by clicking that it means my header and footer is not showing so this is what you need to do if you don't want to show certain areas so now i've put the eye back on if i hit save changes and i come back over here and refresh notice what happens I now have the footer and the header back on. Okay, so that's how this I item works. Okay, great. So every time you make changes to this, you need to hit save. The next thing I want to talk about here is also very, very important. Now, the theme builder here may look basic uh, as it is right now, but if you come over here and click on this plus button, it'll give you a list of everything that you can uh, create templates for. So initially I was talking about the DV Blogger Pro template that I sell on my website. If you wanted to create your own, you would come over here and create a design for all the posts on your site. So if you just click here and create a template, this now becomes the template for all your blog posts. So you can also go in here and uh, label it in such a way that you would remember. So you can go in and customize this. It's pretty, pretty cool. So you can go in and also add all sorts of templates. You can just continue adding on all your templates here. So let's say you have Learn Dash. You can also come here. Once you install it, Learn Dash will start showing and you can create templates for all your course landing pages. So this theme builder area here is super important as a designer using Divi. So let's talk about something else here. So let's say we want to create a template, but this time we want to exclude it from certain pages. So the question is, why would you want to do this? So let's say I want to have a template that does not have a header and footer. I can create on all pages here. The template could be a template for all pages right create template so what happens is whatever design i add here will affect all the pages okay so let me just delete that so let's say whatever i design here will affect all the pages but i can also add exclusions and this is how you do it so i'll click here on this gear icon and then say exclude from 
I can exclude from the home page. I can exclude from specific pages. So let's say I want to exclude this from the support page or the sample page. I can just decide that here. So when I hit save, whatever I design here is going to exclude those pages that I've just specified. So this is a very, very powerful tool. Now let's move on to the next part. And it's three, these three little dots. So if you click on these three little dots, they give you extra features. So here you can manage template assignments. So if I click here, this is where you come back on here and, and you can say, okay, I want this used on, and then you specify where you want it used on. So this, these are called assignments. The next one here is reset template assignment. So this will just reset where this needs to be used on. And now it says unassigned. So if you want to assign it, you can just go back in here, manage template assignments. And then you say, okay, I want this to be assigned to, let's say all archive pages. Boom. And now it has updated. This is now going to be applied on all archive pages. Okay. So you can just pretty much go through here. This here is a template. So this, I mean, just this here is used for duplicating the template. This one here, you can disable the template completely. You can delete it. You can rename and you can also export. So this is the interface of the DV theme builder. I highly recommend that you use it. I can't stress this enough. This is super, super powerful. Every time you start designing a website, you need to have this in mind.